Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest, amount of time for binary tree to be infected. The problem states that you are given a root of a binary tree with unique values and you are given an integer start. So at minute zero, infection starts from this particular start node and every minute the, in, uh, the infection spread to the adjacent node which are not already infected. So we need to return the number of minute needed for the entire tree to be infected. For example, in this case, infection start from node 3. At minute 1, this node, this node and this node will be infected. At minute 2, this node will be infected. Minute 3, this node will be infected. And at minute 4, this and this, both the nodes will be infected. So total time required for entire tree to be affected, infected is 4 minutes. Hence the answer is 4. Similarly for this example, node 1 is infected initially and there is only one node in the tree. So entire tree is already infected. So it requires no more minute. So in a way it requires 0 minute for the entire tree to be infected after this. So now how to solve this? First of all, let's try to look at a, uh, like let's just simulate the process. Let's say this uh, blue circle node is the infected node. Now what happens at minute one? Minute one, this node and this node will be infected, right? Or let me change the color. So, yeah, so this node and this node will be infected, right? Similarly at minute two, this and this will be infected and this as well. At minute 3, this, 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 this and this will be infected. Minute 4, this all will be infected. Minute 5, this will be infected. Minute 6, this will be infected and so on and so forth. So what is the total time required for the entire tree to be infected is equals to the height of the tree, right? So whatever is the height of the tree that is the farthest node from the root right and at every minute we are in like only one adjacent neighbor is getting infected so at every minute the infection will spread one down and at the end it will come to the bottommost node which denotes which is farthest from the root so in a way we know that the uh, infection is equals to the height of the tree, right? So that the, that is something we have uh, find out by using this simulation. Now, what else? Like we know that we infection is related to the height of the tree, but let's see how it changes when we change the first infected node. Okay, so. Uh, Let's uh, take an example. Let's say this node is the initial infected node. Now, if this node is the initial infected node, what happens at uh, uh, minute one? At minute one, uh, this node will be infected, right? Or this node will be infected, this node will be infected, and this node will be infected, right? At minute two, these two will be infected, and this and this will be infected. Minute three, this, this, and this will be infected. And minute four, this, 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 sorry, this will also be infected. So these all things will be infected. So in a way, what is happening, this is not exactly similar to what we have just looked when the first infected node is the root, right? So this is, uh, even uh, trickier than that but if you look at it in this way let's say this is the root of the tree okay let's say this node uh, is uh, the root of the tree now if this node is the root of the tree in a way uh, you again need to find out the height of the tree if this is the root so now what is the height of the tree if this is the root there are various possible paths. Let's uh, simulate this again. 
So there are various possible paths here. Uh, let this is uh, one possible path, right? And similarly, there like this is another possible path. Notice that this is the height of the tree. So imagine it in a slightly tilted fashion where this is the root of the tree. So this is one possible path and similarly this can be another possible path. Right? So there are like basically we need to again find the height of the tree but just that the root is now something else. So we need to reroot the tree at this particular node. Now we have been given the pointer to the first node, like pointer to the node of the tree, right? Uh, pointer to the root of the tree. But we need to root or reroot the tree at this particular node, or basically the node which is given at start. So we actually can't do it with this pointer. So what we need to do is we need to prepare adjacency list for this. There is one more reason like why if you are thinking why we can't do it with this pointer itself or why we can't represent it in the form of tree. If we reroute a particular uh, the tree at particular node, it will no longer be a tree. This, this can happen because you can see for this node, there are uh, three children, right? So if you reroute the tree at this particular node, it will not remain a binary tree and hence you will need a adjacency list for this particular like for represent for rerouting the tree at a particular start node. So what we will do, we will first prepare adjacency list and then we will just find out the height of the tree starting from this particular node and that will be our answer. Now how to prepare the adjacency list like I am assuming that you all know how to find the height of the tree it's simple recursive function uh, for finding out the adjacency list what you can do is uh, it's very similar to so what is the adjacency list adjacency list is which we there is a like for each node you know uh, sorry for each node you know that what is the uh, immediate children immediate children of this node so when you start let's say you start at this because there is no other input than this you are only you only have this particular input at the very beginning so if you start from this you look at left and right right and uh, you have current uh, current node c let's say so what you can do for every node you can just put uh, the adjacent elements in the list or adjacency list of those individual nodes. So for example, if you have these three uh, nodes, like you are, you are at C and you have neighbors L and R. So what you will do, you will add L and R to C. Okay. And then you will add C to L because that is like for, for L C is adjacent. And similarly, you will add C to R. So you will do, you will keep on doing this for every node. So once you have done this for this node, you will come here and you will do this again for this node. Once you have done this for this node, you will come here and you will do this again for this node. So remember that you will not, or you can't actually go for backward because there is, uh, when you are iterating over a tree, you only have this pointers, right? So you actually can't uh, uh, go back. So in a way, you your tree or the adjacency list that you will form will never contain duplicates. So once this adjacency list is formed, you can simply find out the height of the tree starting at node ST and that would be our answer. So let's just quickly look at the code. Uh, like there is no pseudo, I've been written pseudo code for this because as you can see, there are literally two steps. One is to find out the adjacency list, which is uh, simply doing this thing. Okay, and uh, second is to find out the height of the tree, which is a very uh, well-known standard problem. So the code would look something like this. So we need to prepare the adjacency list. So we have like initially made uh, adjacency list uh, array. Now in, we are clearing them all up in the beginning of the function. 
and then we are calling prepare agency list and then finding out the height and returning height minus one why minus one we will come to that but that's what we are doing now what is prepare agency list as discussed uh, we will push like we will look at left and right their values if if they exist then we will just push left to the current node and a val to the left node similarly we will push val to the right node sorry right to the val node and val to the right node once you have done this so we have you ha we have done this for current node we will uh, do the same for left and right so that's what we are doing we are when we have done the thing for the current node and now we are calling left and right so that after this recursion is over we will be having adjacency list with us now once we have adjacency list we can just find out the height of the tree at any given start node so we have we are finding the height of the tree at this given start node and because this is the root of the tree new root of the tree there is no parent why this parent is important because in adjacency list you like l is a let's say this is x so x is a neighbor of l and l is again the neighbor of x so while you are uh, in the recursion if you go from l to x then if we, in in your list of x, l you will encounter x so you have to for like uh, you have to skip x in that case because x is the, the the node from where you have come to l right so like this is just a standard way of uh, doing a dfs over a uh, tree which like which have both the cases built like this agency list built now what we are doing as with uh, the binary tree height uh, we will just uh, iterate over all the children here and uh, height would be max of height comma one plus height of the children right height of the children will give us the height starting at the children node and we will add one because this node the current node is one node so it will contribute one to the height so finally this is the this will return as the height of the tree and we are doing minus one because we need to return the num the time when all the tree was infected and we are given that this node is already infected so this node will not con like we will when we will count the time we will not count this particular node and hence we will do minus one to the answer so hope this solution makes sense if you have any doubts in this problem please post them in the commentation below i will be happy to answer uh, and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you